I want to explain why I wanted this one in the show. Uh, for many, many years, I, I, I didn't talk about it. I certainly didn't show it on air. Uh, but I, I had to walk with a cane because I had a back injury that was, was catastrophic. And it was almost physically impossible for me to get out of a chair or into a chair without a cane. And I was in my mid-30s, and I felt like I was 120 years old. And I was so angry at having to walk with a cane. Then I found this thing, and it's not a cane. This thing is really cool. It's more like a walking stick, mm -hmm. like a hiker would use. And it takes away all of the feeling of being old. This is a traditional cane. We all know, and you'll see a whole bunch of these in red and white as we get closer to the holiday. Take a look at how different the shape is on this. And then let me introduce you to my tall buddy over here. <laughs> Doc, how are you, man? Good to see you, Dan. Uh, this is Dr. Mark Legere, and he is a chiropractor, and he works with a lot of athletes, mm -hmm. a lot of celebrities. A regular cane almost forces you to put yourself in a precarious position. And that precarious position is more dangerous than you know. Where your body or your center of gravity goes, the body follows. And okay. those traditional canes, when you're bent forward, first of all, it's gonna have you kind of looking right, at the right, ground. Right. And if you at all lose your balance in one of those traditional canes and you're already leaning forward, guess where you're going? Over. You're gonna go forward. So with the grip and the handle of, of the Campbell cane, what it's gonna do, it's gonna have you much more upright you're going to come in almost like you're giving a nice handshake. Yeah, I, I want you to see this. This is really cool. And by the way, the one that you've got in front of you, I've got one here, one here, one here. There's 10 different height settings. Correct. There is also something that this cane cannot do as I knock them all over. It can't stand on its own. Nope. But this can. When you go to use this, and this one is the one that's set up for me, you reach out and shake hands, which is comfortable. That's very, very natural. Now, I wanted to show you what that's going to do, Dan. Then, so on a traditional cane with you being bent over, yep. that's going to load your wrist. And so for a painful wrist, it's going to make it even worse. With you coming in for that handshake, it unloads the yeah. wrist. It actually uses the muscle of the tricep. And look how nice your posture. You're yeah, nice you're and upright. You're standing straight up. It's going to help with the so back. It's going to help with the shoulder. This and becomes it's going to keep... So you reach out and shake hands. With this, my hand is like this. Mm -hmm. That's how you grip a cane. And all that pressure goes onto the wrist and it's gonna As bring your center of gravity this. forward. Yep. And center I've gotta tell you, it's just more comfortable. Now, by the way, this new model, and this is the first time I've been able to offer the new model, mm -hmm. also comes with this wonderful rolling walking edge. Mm -hmm. uh, I wanna take this so my sweater won't cover that up. So, And if you're someone who is active, you're gonna love that. Right, it's because, meant to rock with you as, yeah. this, as it goes forward. So yeah, I have the rocker tip is what we call it. And so you can see it's for someone who's very active and it's gonna roll with you right. as you go. So it's gonna roll like this. If you look at the base that also comes with the traditional, uh -huh. it's gonna be very wide and it's gonna give you more of that stability. Whereas this tip is gonna give you more of that rolling. So this is, I wanna be more active and this one needs, I need a little bit more stability. But let me throw a third one in here. Yeah. So the traditional base of that cane, can you bring yours up there? Sure, look, look at the difference. Just look at the size. size difference of that. And you can't, can you tell me which one's more stable? That. Exactly. So it's gonna give you much more stability. Stiletto heel tennis shoe. There it is. You know? So here's the deal. Uh, at 34 is when I injured my back severely enough to have to walk with a cane and had to for many years. I know a lot of people who are extremely active that because of a situation, replace a hip, mm -hmm. have some knee surgery, maybe an injury. They're not as, as uh, able to walk as, as uh, unassisted as before, but their lifestyle isn't gonna change. They're gonna be just as busy, just as active, out and about. Man, I was not ready to park my fanny in a chair mm -hmm. and not live. So walking with that cane, again, there was a stigma to it. I felt old. Well, and, and with you this, you don't. And you look at someone who has a traditional cane and you see someone who's old, but with something that looks more like a walking stick, that's an active person. Yes, And you yes, ask yes. them, where, where are you going? Where are you, what are you up to? And that activity of the cane, and again, with that center gravity up, Staying really nice, staying really upright is going to give you all that nice stability and it's going to actually reduce the risk of those falls because let's be honest, this is for a little bit extra stability. Right. It's just to kind of help us do our thing. And, and buddy, how, how tall are you? I'm 6'5". What's that like? 
it's, <laughs> it's cold up this side. <laughs> I'm, I'm not. Again, with a cane, and here's the difference with a cane. And by the way, I love that this thing will stand up on its own. If you take a look at my hand, my hand is bent in a very awkward angle. Also because of a cane, it, it always throws your body forward. Yep. Height on the cane doesn't change that. So you run into a position where your center of gravity is headed is where you wind up going. And if you would all lose your balance, and that's why you're using the camel yep. cane, is you're using it for that balance. So if you don't have that and you go start going forward, you're going to go. Now, so, here's another thing that I really like with it, Dan, right. is if I'm sitting. So it's because it's so high and because, there's so these, and because of the grip and the setup of it, it helps me get up from my position, put it through my legs, yep. press it up. I mean, and I'm... I'm 210 pounds, okay. and I put all my weight into this just now, and it's as stable as it's, anything. It's a better piece of equipment. And just I, even the way you, you interact with it. Mm -hmm. Again, it's the same as like a shake, shaking hands. That's it. So I yeah. urge you to consider, if you've got somebody on your holiday list, and it may be you, maybe yourself, who, ha who has some difficulties in getting around, I truly, truly believe that this is a life-changing implement to help you and it doesn't have the stigma of quote a cane mm -hmm. it really is like a walking stick now with the new rocker tip and a twenty nine dollars and ninety four cents you don't have to worry about sizing on this look at that little doggy i love that dog there's 10 different height adjustments on the campbell cane mm -hmm. and it's changing the way even physicians think of canes in general it's all about ergonomics you know you don't want to have extra balance and then a sore yeah. wrist you don't want to have all that balance and then setting yourself up for more of an injury and you talked about being on the road and it's those travel times and let's say you want to bring it bring this with you on the road yeah it collapses that's so beautiful. you can bring it in your luggage it's going to become yeah. much smaller and then when you collapse it down it's even smaller than that and then right away it just pops right up goes right into that position you're ready to go I, I like it. I really do. Uh, I, I still have that old cane. Mm -hmm. and, in a closet somewhere? And, yes, and you know what? And I won't ever use it again. You this, don't have to. This is the modern tool mm -hmm. for the active, but people who need a little bit of assistance. That's it. Uh, that's, what, that's what I wanted to bring to you in this hour. We're practical gifts, mm -hmm. things that make sense. We're into our, our big holiday deals weekend. Over 1,200 of them have been purchased. Yep. Uh, by the way, the bottom is rubber, and the reason for that is rubber grips plastic slips. That's a good saying. So, so many of the canes out there have plastic bottoms, and this one, I can't tell you how important that is, just free stands. When you get to where you're going, it, it stands by itself. It's going to stand on a flat surface. you got to be careful on a rug. Yeah. You might not step on a rug, but okay. on a flat surface it goes. But the old cane I had... Unless I was close to a wall or mm -hmm. a piece of furniture, right. you couldn't get it. Again, we've got a few seconds. I want to go but back. It, Here is a traditional cane. You, you know what that looks like, okay? To grasp that, you have to turn your wrist at a very precarious angle. Mm -hmm. With this, it's just a, it's a handshake. Well, it's a handshake, and this is going to unload the wrist, so it's yeah. not going to put as much pressure on. And you use the muscles of your arm to hold yourself up, and it's all about the posture. Coming up being more stable, reducing those chances of the, of the falls, yeah. and giving yourself mobility in the holiday season. Go see those grandkids. My friend, thank you. Yep, good seeing you. Uh, this guy would never brag. He works with some of the coolest people, <laughs> some of my favorite sports athletes and some superstars in the yeah. world of music. This is Dr. Mark Lajar. Thank you for thank being you. a part of the show. Thanks for having me. You're the best. Yeah. Thank you. All right, coming up. This is going to be dangerous. I'm telling you, it's going to be dangerous.